Hello everyone, this is the Shitcoin Detective and here I am on PancakeSwap trying to tell, sell this token called VSGA.cc and I'm not succeeding with it because, well, let's just look into this token a little bit more and I'll explain to you what's going on. So the VSGA token, it's uh, named after a website, so if we go into the website we can see that uh, uh, this is their website fight with us against scams this is this is what they write here so and we can see that oh there is a button to get the airdrop click this button and uh, yeah all right let's zoom out a little bit so you can either connect it with your wallet connects or you can use a desktop account which is this is this is quite new but nevertheless what is happening is they are uh, attacking people and trying to get them to get to connect your wallet to this website uh, click on here on the approval and uh, click on the swap button and in the background that's um, this is the contract that they have right this is the vsga.cc contract and people are able to approve this token transfer this time so it's a slightly different than the previous scams but this is still a scam and uh, we can even see that uh, that uh, the scammer which is yeah this is their contract creator xerx 6 aac this is the address of the scammer and uh, if we take a look at the wa his wallet we can see that all the all these transactions that are happening here are incoming transactions to this wallet several different people transferring money and quite a lot because if you see this transaction is for example 3 bnb BNB. So the scammer just received about one and a half thousand dollars from a from an unknown uh, person who has been unfortunately scammed by this. So this is his wallet, right? If you're watching this, your wallet is not safe yet because uh, the scam happened. Scammer still has access to his wallet, and I have proof for that. So first of all, this was the first time that these transactions happened where he transferred out 3 BNB to the scammer. And then yeah, the scammer said, Oh, you have another little bit left, so you know, let's take that one as well. And then unfortunately this guy went uh, online. Went online on pancake swap and yeah, sort his uh, Torum token. I'm not familiar with this token, but basically you received more BNB, and what uh, what this achieved is that uh, even a few hours. So this is this is eight hours between these two transactions. The scammer still has access to his wallet, and whenever he received extra red BNB, uh, the scammer has can still take his tokens. So. As we can see, I went to, to BSC scan, right? You go to more token approvals. This is where you, you can reach this, this website and you have to input your wallet address. Or I think if you connect your wallet, then uh, it pops up your approvals right away. So basically, what we can see here is, uh, is this that uh, he approved. This is the scammer. He approved the scammer to spend unlimited wrapped BNB from his wallet. So, whenever we receive new wrapped BNB, the scammer just can transfer out this from his wallet. So, the solution for this is that you connect your wallet to, to BSC scan, token approval checker, and then you, you click on this button and then you pay the gas fee, which is it's not a lot, uh, it's a few cents then they don't have access to your wallet anymore 
But once you you haven't done that, then anytime you receive new rep BNB, they can steal it from your wallet. I hope you are watching this video and I, I helped you explaining what, what is happening with your wallet. Um, I tried to look at the, the JavaScript code for this um, for this uh, token and I can see is that uh, uh, basically um, I think they are just looking at your um, yeah they are going to forward your your wallet address to to BSC scan and they try to get uh, like a list of tokens that you have and try to get uh, an approval for all these tokens but um, look at the contract look at the contract here what we can see here is that uh, we have here something called supporter contract so maybe they um, started with a donation uh, like code, some 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 Tom wrote some code for donations, and uh, and that's what they are using. And then they here they um, uh, in this function they request the uh, your your uh, balances for for different tokens, and it's a field, so meaning that you know you receive many many uh, token balances, and then. Um, and then they go ahead and they try to transfer out each of your, your tokens from your wallet. And if we take a look at the, the actual transfer uh, that happens at the end of this, uh, this JavaScript, which is, is this uh, approve function from address to address contract, uh, basically they post the JSON message uh, on you know, on BSC, on the Binance Smart Chain, to get approvals to your tokens. So you should be really careful about what you're approving, what sort of contracts you're approving. And the way they're trying to get more approvals at the same time is because they give you false uh, error messages, which uh, I will find in a second. They are here, although I think this one is uh, commented out, but uh, that they, they pop up a message which says swap fail, please try again, and then and then they, they go to your wallet again and they try to get approval for, for more tokens. So the bottom line is, um, if you are trying to exchange this token on PancakeSwap, that's fine. Your wallet is safe, PancakeSwap will not you know scam you this way because uh, they can't right the well they can but they they won't because they are a reputable website uh, if you're seeing a token which uh, has very high price impact for selling a small amount of tokens or you know an airdrop if you received an airdrop and you're trying to sell it it has a very high price impact and the other thing is that if you received an airdrop which has a website name as a token name or a token uh, a symbol, a token symbol, and uh, that's the reason why they are sending that to you is because they want you to go to that website and interact with something which uh, code can be anything. Uh, the other uh, thing that I would like you to, to do is when you're approving a transaction on any of your wallets, take a look at what you're actually approving, right? Because um, your wallet will tell you that, oh, you're actually approving someone to spend tokens on your behalf. So, you know, I know it's, it's complicated and I am fighting for the, you know, uh, the wallet developers to make it more clear what you're actually doing with your wallet. If you are if you are approving something, how much you are approving, if you are, uh, you know, transferring tokens, how much you are transferring, what are the consequences of doing that. Uh, more and more um, error messages appear. For example, when you're trying to import a token here on PancakeSwap, right, when you input your, the token address here, you will um, often time tells you tell you that it's not guaranteed that if you buy something that you will be able to sell it. So there are improvements in this field, but crypto is still in its infancy and we are early. Just 
So uh, we are the early adopters. There are drawbacks for this. We, you know, we could lose some money, but there are benefits of this uh, as well because uh, the tokens that we're buying right now are very likely to be more valuable in the future. So I hope you like this video. Uh, this has been the Shitcoin Detective. Uh, please like the video and subscribe to the channel. And if you uh, want to support me, I have my wallet address below uh, and I'm selling NFTs if you wish to buy. Uh, so take care everyone. I wish you safe trading.